Welcome guys from the port of Miami. We are here with another world's first. This is gonna be a first for the United States. We are about to unload behind us America's first Lamborghini 63 built by Technomar. I wanted to show you the behind the scenes process of what it fully takes to take this vessel and introduce it to its US waters, take it off the ship, go through the entire PDI process, and then tomorrow introduce it to its new owner. This is a typical day in the office, James. We didn't think this was gonna be like this on a Thursday afternoon, but when you get over and you're about to look at this, it makes it all worth it. Yeah. This is insane. I mean, I've done some crazy things. We've had some really, really silly car deliveries over the years. Airports, you've seen Pagani Ultimo taking it out of the actual airplane. But this is impressive just because it's amazing this thing floats. You see all the weight, you see the height, the density of this, it's, blows my mind. Knowing Lamborghini and how significant it plays on like, you know, my DNA and on my heart, a moment like this to have the best of both worlds that not every dealer understands the whole auto and marine side. This is a moment of something I've been waiting for for a very, very, very long time. This is exactly what allows the boat to do 63 knots. I mean, we're talking about a hybrid of a surface drive and an Arneson drive with a rear designed rudder instead of the IPS pod, which you're used to seeing on some of the Van Dutches and the Pardos. Normally you would see a shaft driven boat with the rudder. The fact that this is a, a hybrid of a surface drive boat, you see how far back the actual propellers are and the only thing standing in between the way of the prop and the water is the rudder itself, which is what allows us to gain that excessive, excessive speed. Where the IPS on the Pardo is facing forward in a dual prop that counteracts each other. When you utilize the joystick, the boat actually moves by the pod itself spinning. This has a joystick, but it operates a little differently than what you're used to seeing on the Pardo. For a 63 foot boat to do 63 knots, it's absolutely unheard of. The closest competitor in its class is still 20 miles an hour slower than what Lamborghini and Technomar have been able to achieve in this boat here. This was always something that I think every automotive manufacturer dreamt of doing was pairing boats with cars, but it didn't make sense for a lot of other manufacturers to do it and not have the right composites to use or the style for the boat to use. From the photos that I saw, as impressed as I was with the helm, body, certain small details, the engine room is something that I think is gonna, gonna put the biggest smile on my face right now. Just twin engines that are just about the size of a small car. These are V12 man blocks with over 2,000 horsepower. 